have some data, some 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 numbers about how implementing a culture of happiness at work or a culture of wellness is increasing the number of people engaged. Yeah, we know that there's a there's a, a lot of good examples of organizations that put a lot of emphasis and and put a lot of time and and love and money into their culture, that they have a, a much bigger percentage of people that are engaged. We usually use this this model of the A players. Do you know that? Are you Please, familiar yeah. with that? Yeah, the A player is someone that really contributes to the culture, but it's also really good at his work. So those are the people that are. Um, you know that they contribute. They don't come to you with a problem, but they come to you with a solution. And they are the people that help others uh, to, to learn. Uh, and I think if you as an organization look at what kind of people do we really need, I mean, do we have a list of stuff that someone needs to be able to do? But if we also look at the contribution that they can make to your culture, um, then you are also much, you know, much better in finding the people that really fit for you. And if, if someone is not an A player, Maybe they still have to learn to become an A player. That's fine. But maybe someone just, you know, doesn't fit into with into your culture. And maybe doesn't he or she doesn't contribute to your culture. And then you're in the in what Gallup calls the disengaged part. And I think it's really important to be very critical uh, about do you really, really need those people? Because we also know that having those negative uh, and uh, yeah, not supportive people in your organization is very damaging for the rest. So yes, working on your culture and choosing the people uh, that really fit, that's the best thing that you can do.